Good day, one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip airport. I'm at Cairns Airport and today I'm gonna fly Jetstar A320 to Brisbane. Join me, go into the terminal and check in. So here's the check-in for Jetstar. It's quite straightforward here, so you self-check in. And then when you're ready, you've got your boarding pass and your bag tag, then you can go to the bag drop desk. I asked the check-in agent if she was able to upgrade me to the emergency exit seat with extra leg room. Then she gave it to me for free, which was amazing. So after checking in, I went straight through security. Ken Seppel has been renovated during the pandemic and it's giving me a very strong Narita Airport Terminal 3 vibe. The terminal design is simplistic and minimalistic. Now let's go to something a bit more sophisticated. So with my Qantas Gold status, when I fly Jetstar, I can actually use the Qantas Club if there's one available. Fortunately, there's one here at Cairns Airport, so I'll show you around. The lounge is really quiet today because there's only two departing flights in the next few hours, including our Jetstar flight to Brisbane and a Qantas Link flight to Adelaide. Things have pretty much gone back to normal here. There's buffet and there's free alcohol, you can pour it yourself. Same goes to the coffee and tea, you can make them yourself. The buffet is a little bit disappointing today, there's not many hot food options, there's no pancake and there's only fried rice which is not even delicious. That is not our plane to Brisbane. I asked for iced ice chai latte from the barista and it's so delicious. The Australian border has already reopened for Australians. If you're an Aussie in Australia, are you travelling overseas anytime soon? Let me know in the comment down below if you are where you're going. And if you're not, do you have any specific reasons? Like is it because the COVID tests are so expensive or perhaps you worry about the borders might close again? I'm going to Singapore next week which is exciting and it should be something that I look forward to but I'm really frustrated about the COVID test, the cost and everything and also all the applications I need to enter Singapore. Well that's enough story time so while we were in the lounge we drank a lot like chai latte, a hot cup of tea, lemon lime bitters and just a regular iced tea. So now it's boarding time, everyone boards at the same time but the queue is moving relatively quickly. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Are you sitting in the emergency exit, right? When was the yeah. last time you sat there? Not too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. At the boarding gate, you were able to grab a free flywheel pack, which consists of a free face mask and two hand wipes. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> so here's my seat today, 13C, an emergency exit seat by the aisle. 13A is my friend. Just a reminder that smoking or the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted. Be sure your electronic devices are now being set to flight mode. Handheld devices can be used during takeoff. All other large devices such as laptops must be switched off and stowed away. Before we take off, we get a special safety briefing because we're sitting at the emergency rolls. For your comfort, the mask, mask and what authority you have. For your comfort, the wipes may be used for items such as your seat, belt, tray table and armrest. And we thank you for respecting each other and our crew to ensure a safe and comfortable flight. Ask that you report any unacceptable behaviour to us. Please ensure all electronic devices are now on flight mode. With the safety features of the CFSA 320, please now watch the e crew member nearest to you carefully. Your crew are highly trained to help keep you safe, so make sure you listen to and follow their instructions.
I'd like to apologise for that blurry takeoff. The window we got today was extremely dirty. Now let's go through the seat features. So up there you've got your literature items like your safety card and your menu. And then the tray table you can pull it back really really back towards you. Down in that seat pocket it's all empty for you, I've got my headphone case there. And you get plenty of leg room at the emergency roll. So my friend purchased a bottle of water and a Pringle chips and also a toasty all for $16. Which is not too bad when you compare that to like the convenience store prices. And for myself, I got free snacks that I stole from the lounges in the past few days. If today you ask me if the frickin' fly state is worth it, I'm definitely saying yes. So an interesting observation is that quite a lot of passengers are purchasing things to eat today. Our flight today is about 80% full. So, along with people purchasing food items, the service took quite a while today. Before we land, let's check out the lavatory. So I'll just do voice over today because there's someone waiting outside, so I'll just do a really quick one. So it's quite spacious for an economy lavatory. I can do star jumps. Armrest, open your window shade and stow your tray table. Place your belongings either under the seat in front of you or into an overhead locker. We ask that you take a moment to review the location of your nearest exits. So we're about to land into Brisbane Airport, so let's quickly conclude this trip port with Jetstar right here, right now. So my journey today with Jetstar starts at Cairns Airport check-in. The check-in agent was really friendly and patient. She was happy to upgrade me to seat at the emergency exit seat for free, saving me $16. Despite the rather chaotic boarding, it was actually really, really fast with two boarding doors opened, so the rear door and the forward door. And interestingly, most people today only had a small carry-on bag, like one of those SHA bags or a backpack, so it really helped with the boarding process. I usually feel quite uncomfortable sitting on a Jetstar plane for over two hours, but today at the emergency exit roll, I felt really comfortable, and I think it's worth the upgrade, even if it means you have to pay $16. Another great thing about our flight today was that the lavatory was really, really clean, and my only complaint was that the window was filthy. 
And that's it for the conclusion today. For your information, I paid $160 today for this one-way flight from Cairns to Brisbane, which is quite expensive. And now here we are, One Watt Flyer Squad. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. I upload a new trip report every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time or 2 p.m. Queensland time. So definitely click that bell button as well so every time I upload, you won't miss out. And keep watching for the Brisbane vlog at the end. Welcome to Brisbane. Jeff Dunn would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and pay respect to elders past and present. On behalf of the crew, it's been our pleasure having you aboard. And today we'll exit through the forward rear doors. Please take, follow the directions of our team and for your safety, remember to be steady on the stairs and hold on to the handrail. If you're travelling with small children or have concerns using stairs, please come forward to disembark. Before you head off, double check you have everything with you. Be careful opening overhead lockers in case your luggage has moved during the flight. And please remember to take all masks and wipes with the used or unused off the aircraft. If your phone is within arm's reach, you may now switch it on. Please don't use your phone if walking across the tarmac. All other devices need to remain switched off until you are inside the terminal. And smoking is not allowed out on the tarmac or throughout the terminal. Thank you and good afternoon. I'm at Brisbane Airport, just got off the plane from Jetstar and now I'm waiting for my friend to get us up. Brisbane City is looking great as always, but things are about to turn nasty. It started hailing in a moment, so my friend was really worried about his car, and my flight was cancelled tomorrow because the 737 was damaged. Oh, so cute. Oh my god! Oh, I want to stop somewhere. Welcome to my hotel room. Let's quickly do a tour. So, lavatory. Very nice. Got a bathtub here and cook. <laughs> Got wardrobe. Um, place to put your uh, suitcase. The working desk. We got two double beds and the view of Brisbane. And the river's just down there. I'm back in the gym because I ate too much on the plane, too much snacks. So uh, I'm now gonna go out to dinner with my friends from Brisbane, my friend who flew with me from LA is gonna stay in tonight because he's tired from the flight. So yeah, let's go. Thanks for watching this vlog, I'll see you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned.